All right, so a lot of you have been asking me to make a video on how to make the Dollar Tree wagon. So that is what I'm going to do tonight. So this is what it looks like. Show you the wheels a little better. This is what it is. So I'm going to show you how to make this tonight. So I'm going to show, first thing I'm going to show you the materials we used. Um, we have the spatula. It is a jumbo spatula from Dollar Tree. It's the biggest one that they have. Um, you're going to use just two of these large size dowel rods, which are from Dollar Tree. Um, these uh, storage containers, which you will find on the crafting aisle. I'm going to use only the back side, not the lids, just the back side of two packs, two packs of those. Okay, and then I'm going to use the brownie pan from Dollar Tree. That's going to be the wagon part. And then I printed out these two inch circles off of my Cricut to put on the wheels. It fits perfectly in the center there on those. And then these half wood beads, which I got off of Amazon and I don't know the size. I bought a variety pack, so this is one of the smaller sizes that I got. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to put those aside. Um, so I already spray painted the brownie pan. This is, I believe it's Rust-Oleum, um, oh, what is it? apple red or something along those lines so there is that and then I also spray painted the wheels so they look like this once they're spray painted black that's the other side so we're just using obviously just using this side um okay so then let me see I do need this back um I'm going to go in and cut that off, but I also wanted to show you, and this, we're going to glue this directly onto the pan. Got some pieces there. I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up, but this is going to glue on right here, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, in the meantime, we can go on and actually get our, um, our wheels prepped. Actually, hold on. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to show you how how I did this to uh, paint the wood dowels to make it easier so they didn't slide around. So basically I took some painter's tape and I put the non-sticky side down on here. So the sticky side is up. Then I took some painter's tape around the side edges of this to hold it down. And you can stick your dowel, your dowel, your wood beads on here and they won't move while you're painting them. So that was just a little trick that I learned off of another YouTuber. I don't remember who it was right now, but yeah, so that is an easy way. And I'm going to go on and paint these. Oh, and I'm using Waverly Crimson, which is a red paint, for for these, uh, these beads. So I'm going to go on and paint these real quick. But yeah, see, it, they don't move around at all. I first tried it the hard way, and I'm like, there's got to be an easier way to do this. And so I saw somebody do this and I'm like that is so neat what a great idea so whoever thought of this you're a genius you are a genius so all right excuse me just for a second I'll be right back all right let's finish painting these in the jar there And you want to make sure to really get down there to make sure you're getting the whole thing. So you can kind of pick it up and look at it. See, I, I missed a spot right there. Another good reason to do this. You can move it around and see if you got the whole thing. Make sure you're getting all of the 
sides of it. So, and these only take one coat, so it's good to go. I'm just doing a quick brush over just to make sure that I got all the pieces. So there is that, that part is done. Put that over here and I'm going to get my dryer and dry these real quick, maybe. Nope, nope, hold on one second. There we go. Turn that off. There we go. And I'm gonna dry these real quick. Now that I'm drying them, I do see a little, a little spot that I, that I missed. There we go. I got it. All right, let's do a quick dry. All right. And this Waverly paint, chalk paint, actually does dry fairly quickly. So we got that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set those aside and let those dry. And we also need to paint these dowel rods, which I did cut down to a, approximately eight and a half inches long. And I did use these miter shears, which I picked up from uh, Home Depot. Actually, sells these for $19.99, I believe. And so I, I cut the, they cut really easy. So I cut those with that. And I'm going to use Waverly Steel to paint the dowel rods. So I'm going to go on and do that real quickly. And I haven't come up with an easier way to paint these yet. So if you have an easier way, let me know in the comments because I would love to know. I've tried sticking them in um, like the floral foam, but they still moved around a lot and it really wasn't worth it. So, because you have to really, you got to keep turning it and to get it. Okay, getting to the point. Gonna let it. All right, we'll do the next one. Do the next one. Okay. And I just roll it as I'm painting so I can get all the sides. Yeah. I believe this these take I mean it's fine just doing one coat but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two coats on it so but I'm gonna dry it dry these real quickly I'm going to put them aside, keep that, I'll put these aside. I know I said I was going to put two coats on them, but I already have a set done. I just wanted to show you. So there are the dowel rods. So I got paint on my hand fingers here. All right, so I'm going to go on and I'm going to place the stickers on for the wheels real quickly. Well, if I can get them to peel off. There we go. And, and then you just smooth them on. There we go. Smooth it on.
and they may not be on there perfectly like I got an air bubble let me, and I just pushed it out there we go you get air bubbles they you can push them out they will push right out you just got to keep rubbing over it but you don't have to use uh, vinyl from your Cricut if you don't have one you can just paint that circle white pretty simple but I liked the the vinyl on them because it's a cleaner to me it's a cleaner look it's smooth I like it so that's why I went with this and those are perfect there we go okay so these are dry and I believe my hot glue gun is ready to go. It is ready to go. So I'm going to peel these beads off of here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue on there. Well, I put a lot, but that's whatever. And then, oh, 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 oh. Then you want to place it in the center of the wheel. And I got glue everywhere on that one. So, just want to place it in the center there. There's that one. So, we got one down. And then... I'm going to center it before the glue hardens on there, before it dries. I don't know if that's exactly center, but you know what? It's going to work. that one one more get rid of that and I'll glue those okay get that centered it looks like center if it's not oh well good enough okay so there's that well I'm gonna let those sit for a second before we do the dowel rod glue the dowel rods on there I'm gonna go on and we are gonna start with gluing we're going to glue the spatula on, and all I'm going to do is just put tons of glue on the spatula. That should be plenty. And I'm going to put it down. I'm going to leave a little bit of the spatula sticking out. So this pan is actually, it's, it's really bent, but we're going to go with it. I didn't realize it until I was already spray painting it. And I'm like, oh, well, we're going to go with it. So the spatula fits perfectly on the bottom of this. So I'm just going to let it dry a little bit more. But yeah, there's a lot of indentations on this one. So this will, I'll keep this one for myself. But you want to leave. I'll show you how I did it. I left it with, hold on. There we go. Oh, wrong way, wrong, it's, <laughs> there we go, with a little bit hanging off, just a little bit of a triangle right here, so right before it really starts to get wide, that's where I put it on at, right there, so, okay, so, we got that on, that's centered, and we are still waiting for that to completely dry and cool down, so I'm going to set that aside, and I think these are good and dried now, so we're going to we are going to work with these. So then I take the dowel rod and I'm actually going to put hot glue, a big dollop in the center of the wheel on the inside, as center as you can get it. And it's moving all around and you just want to hold it in place until it starts to dry to where it can hold itself so it's somewhat there but I don't want to if I I probably should have glued these in before putting the red dot on the back side, the red half bead on the other side, so I could lay it flat and push it, but I didn't think about that. 
So here we are. But it is drying. It's cooling off. And then I will set it down. I need another set of hands. Okay. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Okay. We're going to go on and do the second one. Put it right in the middle. Kudoki. And then we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to hold it until it dries. I think that, I think that's good. Same thing, we're going to hold it until it starts to dry, until it can hold itself. Try to speed it up by blowing on it. It's not quite there yet. But I th honestly, the hard, the longest part is spray painting the pan and the wheels and waiting for those to dry. So the longest part is waiting for them to dry. And the second longest part is waiting for the glue to harden and hold this on here, which it feels like that is good. So then I'm going to set that one over there too, just to let it finish. So with the second wheel... Now that that is good and hard on there, which I might go on and add just a little bit more on this side, just because it wasn't all the way around on that side. And that one's pretty, I might do some more on that one too, just to make sure it's extra secure and that it's not going to fall off. But adding this hot glue might make the other glue hot again and make this start to fall. So you want to just hold it and make sure that it's not going to do that. You want these sticks to stay straight. You don't want them to slant. Okay, we gotta wait for this one to cool again because I did put a lot more glue around it. I don't know, it seems to be holding pretty well. Oh, no, nope, there it goes. Okay, is it good, is it good? Let's see, nope, it's slanting. all these hot glue webs everywhere so okay I think it I think it's fine I think is it let's see I think it's okay all right so now we're gonna go to the other side and again we're gonna put a dollop of hot glue in the middle and then you're going to take this and you're going to do the same thing and you're going to hold it until it starts to cool off and it holds itself in the middle I don't know it's hard it's hard to tell I think it's perfect though we'll see we shall see oh nope there it goes sliding okay gotta pay attention all right they make a heat gun they need to make a cool gun to blow on this to dry this stuff faster. You know what I mean? I think that would be really neat. 
I guess I could get the hair dryer and blow it, use like cool air. I guess that would work. But, all right. Okay. So yeah, I would recommend not putting the half wood beads on yet and doing this part first. That way you can set it down and it'll sit flat. <laughs> so yeah, lesson learned. Learn from my mistake. How do I turn it? It doesn't feel like... All right, so I think we're getting... That one's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's already starting to turn white. All right, so again, same thing. Dollop right in the center. There we go. Oh, oops, okay. So same thing. Try to get it in as center as you can. It's kind of hard to judge this too sometimes. And just hold it till it dries enough that you can let it go. So while we're waiting for this to dry, I mean, you don't have to spray paint your pan. You don't have to spray paint your wheels. It's faster. It's easier. You can use any other kind of paint. But I do recommend, and I'm also going to do it, even though I spray painted this, sealing it. Because as you change it out for each season, you take stuff out, you put stuff in, there's a chance you can scratch it. And if you don't want any scratches, then you probably want to seal it. So I'm going to seal it. Because I don't want to get it all scratched up. I plan to use this for a long time. And all year long. So throughout every holiday, throughout every season... I'm going to switch it out and put different things in it. Excuse me. So I'm going to, I plan to decorate this one with some pumpkins. There's some hot glue spider webs in there. With some pumpkins and maybe some fall leaves, artificial leaves that you can also get at Dollar Tree. They have some really nice um, buffalo check pumpkins this year, fabric covered pu uh, pumpkins. I'm gonna put those in there. Those are gonna look really good with some fall leaves and I don't know, we'll just see, just play around with it. But you can pretty much put anything in these. And so, all right, so I think, so this is what you have now. You have the wheels. And then I'm going to turn this over and I hang it over this over the table so this handle can hang down so it'll be flush on the table but there's that one I think so then we're just going to take this and if you want your place your wheels wherever you want them but you want to put glue over this part of it and you want to put enough that it's going to hold it down so I think I'm going to do my wheels, I think I'm going to do them about right here, towards the end of the, of the wagon. So I'm going to, oh, let me put more glue in my hot glue gun. By the way, this is the Ryobi, oops, there we go, um, well, it's backwards, a uh, hot glue gun, battery operated glue gun from uh, Home Depot. This was actually a birthday present for my husband, so I love it. But I'm just going to put enough, make sure it goes on both sides of the dowel rod. Just gonna put it, try to make it look as neat as I can, even though nobody's really going to see the bottom. But I'm going to make it look as neat as I can. Just take it over it. big one on the top and it can slide down there we go I think that is probably plenty 
That way when it dries, it'll look semi-nice. <laughs> but again, like I said, who's going to see the bottom? And obviously these wheels aren't really going to roll. It's going to be a stationary wagon. I mean, there's probably a way you can make it to where it would roll, but I'm not that, um, I don't know what you would call it. I, I, I don't know. I'm not that creative, I guess. So I'm just going to hold this until the glue starts to harden a little bit. Maybe blow on it, fan it, but you do want to hold it down so it will stay in place. I don't, don't worry, I'm not touching the hot glue. I am on both sides. I can feel the heat from it, but I'm on both sides of it. I'm not touching it. But you just want to hold it down until it starts to harden a little bit. Until the wheel, the dowel actually sticks to, to the spatula on this one, on this side. And I do see some spots where I scratch the pan a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. Not that big. This is on the bottom. Not, like I said, nobody's really going to see the bottom, so I'm not going to worry about it. But again, see, I let go for a second and it started to come up. So I need to hold it a little bit longer till it starts to dry more. Maybe blow on it a little bit more. That piece was bugging me at least. Okay, so it feels like it's getting there. But I'm going to just for added measure, I'm going to continue holding it just to be sure. All right, there we go. Okay. So if you make one of these, I would love to see your version of it. So um, if you could share a picture in the comment, if it'll let you do that, I don't know if it will, but it would be nice to, uh, you can look me up on, on uh, Facebook as well, Glorious Creations, at, at Glorious Home Crafts on Facebook. Glorious Creations is the name. But if you type in at Glorious Home Crafts, it'll get you there. And you can share under my post of this wagon, you can share your pictures. I'd love to see them. All right, so I think that one is probably good. So it's time to go on to the second one, which on this end, we aren't going to have the spatula. There's a little bit of, you know, extra, extra under there with the spatula. We don't have that on this side. So we are going to still have to put extra glue down, or we could put something under there. Let me think. What do I have that I could put under there? I don't think... A jingle block I think that would be too big we could probably do we might be able to do a couple uh, popsicle sticks maybe or just add a lot of glue that's the other choice which I think in the other wagon that I made I think I did a lot I think I did a lot of glue pretty sure that's that's what I did so um let's see I think we're just going to go with the glue method, but let me get another stick here because I'm going to need another one. Whoopsie. Wheels are taken off. All right. So yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm going to add a lot of glue. You could, however, like I said, maybe the popsicle sticks do a couple of them. You know, no, hold on. Maybe I'm going to do the popsicle. Give me a minute. Hold on. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it if I can find them. If I can't. Let's see, where are they? Let's see, hold on, I'll be right there. Well, I got these. Let me see if that one's too big. Is that too big? Oh, heck yeah, that's too big. I'm trying to find my smaller ones, which they're here. I'm just trying to reach them. 
um, if your craft room looks anything like mine, oh, there we go. I'm, I'm going to grab a few just in case. So if your craft room looks anything like mine, it's kind of hard to find things sometimes. So I'm going to glue a couple of these together and see how that works out. All right, glue it together. Get it together, sister. There we go. It's together. I don't know why I just said that. I'm being weird. Okay, so that might do it. It might give us the extra that we need. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. It is going to do it. So. I might go on and glue it right there. Oops, let's see which side. You know what? I'm going to glue it onto here. I'm just going to guess real quickly that that's, that's where I wanted it. And... There we go. And that, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. All right. So yes, two popsicle sticks, two popsicle sticks will give you the added height that you need to glue this on. I believe watch it be a little bit higher, but nope, that looks, it looks good. It looked, it rolled right on there from here. Just a tad. There we go. All right. Okay. So there we go. So now I got that on there and I'm going to just glue right here. I'm going to put that right there. Do it right there. I'm going to hold that down. Might do a little over. Another glue stick. There we go. Just for added measure. Get down to the other end. There we go. All right. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to show you the finished pro project here. I'm going to go turn the fan on. That'll help dry it, I believe. So we're going to... I'm going to do that. All right. Let that dry. See, that one's already turning white, so that one's good. That's not going to go anywhere. But we'll let this one dry. I might just add a little bit just to make it look... Try to give it that squared off look, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, nobody's really gonna see the bottom anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna let this dry. Gonna let it dry. So instead of boring you with that, I'm gonna go on and pause and I'll get back at you in just a minute. And we're back. Okay, so as you see, it is dried. Maybe not the most attractive on the bottom, but that is the bottom and nobody is going to see it. And so you have a cute little wagon here. And you can add some decor in it, which I don't have any by me right now to be able to do that, but that is how you make the wagon, the Dollar Tree wagon. Everything is Dollar Tree except for my vinyl stickers and the half wood beads. And you can always, like I said, you can always paint this white. You don't have to use the vinyl. You don't have to use a half wood bead. You can use pretty much anything. You can use a full bead, which you can get from Dollar Tree. And um, just paint it red and then just glue it on. And that gives it the look, the look oh my goodness, of a real wagon. So 
really cute not too hard to do really easy just a lot of waiting for it to dry time that is it but that here it is i hope you like it and I, like i said i would love to see your version of it so yeah that's it thank you and as i said you can follow me on facebook at glorious creations actually it's at glorious home crafts and the name of my of my business page is glorious creations thank you have a great night Thank you.